get a little turnaround right here. We could camp right here. Not the greatest view though. I might go a little further up. Ah, it's a beautiful view. Why am I sitting on top of my camper? I just crunched through that tree. Samp solar panels are so strong. Put these things through hell. But that's not the only thing that's strong. So I climbed up on my camper here today. The other day I was in town visiting a friend in an apartment building and uh, these big metal things that these people park their car under, they're sometimes a little lower than they look. I smashed into a carport with my bison camper. This is the main thing. I just crunched, you know, the solar connector thing. So I crunched that completely. So I got a tape up up here. It's not waterproof. There's water getting in here, which isn't good. Um, but the bison camper is completely fine. This is the only scratch and that's it. <laughs> I ran it into a carport and then I had to reverse out like it was like, and I was like, oh, sh I hit the brakes and then I reversed out like, I was afraid I damaged something real bad, but no, just this little $20 solar thing. For now, I'll try to just tape this up so that water doesn't get in here. I know a lot of brain campers that would have been uh, destroyed. The pop top wouldn't have popped anymore. So this thing's been through a lot. It's been crunched on. It's had hundreds of pounds of snow load on the roof and then we just crunched through a tree about 12 minutes ago um so let's see hopefully this pop will this top will pop like no problem i've been beating the crap out of it let's see what happens here all right it's going i think it needs to be looped up a little bit i just had to push from the inside a little bit to uh kind of help it but no, it's, it's going. It's awesome to have this uh, roof up again. I should probably put it up at least once a month. It's probably been three months since it's been popped. And not that I haven't slept in here, but I slept at the beginning of the property. I was sleeping in here, as you saw, but I'd keep the top down to keep it warm. But it feels so good to have this top going up again. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just love it you guys this camper is so sick i can't believe it's on the back of my jeep thanks bison i freaking love this thing it's so cool look at that i'm looking comfortable but i'm just holding my feet up <laughs> so my camp's there just doing a little rc crawling exploring the river's down there, so we're not far from it, but not as close as I wanted, but hey, that's okay. We're having a blast, RC crawling. This guy's romping, getting some crazy slow-mos. This thing has tons of wheel speed. It's actually pretty capable for how heavy and big hard body it is. You're not that the job so much fun. It's fun to drive the crawlers far away too, and then bring them right back to you. Like on this hill climb here, whoa. Whoa, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh you guys, oh no, oh no, oh no, that was the first rig, big roll for dude, let's see if he's okay, you okay bro, sorry about that, oh, that was all my fault man, that was all my fault, I know, I know, I'm sorry, Oh, oh, yeah, you got a lot of scratches, but we're good, right? You okay, man? Oh, yeah, he's still got the same look on his face. He's good. All right. And uh car's still good. Car's still good. Woo! All right, we're all good. It's just like acting like it didn't even happen, you know?
Currently super windy, the truck's blowing all over the place. So first night in the camper is a windy one. That's fun. It's crazy. It's so cool to be in here again. Love this thing. It's small, but super cozy. Got a remote. What might this remote control be for? Oh, I'll check it out. Yeah, we got, uh, we got Netflix on this projector here. Pretty sweet, eh? There we go. I moved it back a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead. That is a lot of Whoa. <laughs> coolness. Turn the okay. thing off. This show's okay, silly, but I've been watching it lately. It's got a Harman Kardon speaker no offense, Caleb, but he always takes our employee parking built spots, into so it. He can use his for his Airbnb trailer. How cool is this? And anytime I raise my voice, he says, Kitty's got claws. Yeah, How my dad's cool got his bad side. And his other bad side. Last month, he... Look at that. So, yeah, this remote is just super cool. This is an amazing little unit. I'll link this below on Amazon. I bought this, 300 bucks. I think it's changed my life. It's also, if you didn't notice, it's not plugged in, so it's got a, a battery in it. And yeah, the Harman Kardon speaker just is awesome. So I'm gonna chill out, watch some shows. This is awesome. This thing's working real good. And I'm thankful for that because it's windy and that's annoying. I was texting with my mom and she asked me, uh, she asked me camper versus tent. I told her it's windy and she asked me which one was worse. And it's hard to say, you know, because the camper is hard walled and I mean, it kind of affects the camper less, the wind, um, because of the tent moves a lot more. Best friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so one of her friend's birthdays is tomorrow and she forgot to get a gift. So yeah, I told her to come. But also the truck moves and sways. And the tent is bigger and kind of comfier in general because it's so big. So it's hard to say. Both uh, suck in the wind though, honestly. And, you know, not like hard walled cabins in the wind but yeah you can see my canvas barely moves on this so the tent does move a lot more um as far as visuals and stuff and that can be crazy but the tent doesn't sway like a boat sometimes like this but anyways we're gonna get back to our show i thought i'd share that thought with you and uh she even said she had her puzzle midnight Try and go to sleep, super windy still. 3 a.m. Can't sleep. Ugh. 6 a.m. Some of the worst winds I've ever experienced. Ugh. Hopefully the sun's up soon. Sun's starting to come out. Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> Actually, it's a morning and it was a night. <laughs> First night in the truck camper was horrendous. I woke up so much from the winds, 30, 40 mile an hour winds. And uh, so, yeah, we were going to stay today and edit here. But due to this crazy wind, we're going to make it a travel day. We've only got two and a half hours of Johnson Valley, so... I'd rather be there and be windy than be here and be windy. So let's head there. Tomorrow we'll do more editing. <laughs> uh, weather, man. Can't do a lot outside in the wind and don't want to do a lot in here. Just, we'll get, we're just going, we're going to move on, man. Jeez, it's really swaying the truck. Let's get out of here. Ah! Just battled my way here through the wind. I hate the wind. I'd video more, but I just hate the wind. <laughs> so I got to get out of here. <laughs> it's not that cool to watch anyways. Let's go. This hair is getting in the way. Oh, stop chopping. Get a mullet. All right. Stud cut barbers.
Oh, what? The mullet's back, baby, just in time for hammers. And it's looking good. <laughs> so I just met that gentleman right there. His name's Joel. And he is full time in his Kimbo camper. And he pulls up. I literally just checked in. There's the gate to Hammertown. <laughs> just checked in and get someone pull up right away. Like, Phil, down to mob, what's up? So Joel apparently saw my video on the Kimbo campers and then went and bought one like a week or two later. So that's really neat. Mark is an awesome guy, the owner of Kimbo and uh, has been really good to me too. So uh, yeah, great, great company, Kimbo campers, love them. And cool to see one of their owners. Been full time for five years now. Been in that Kimbo, I think two or three years and just loving it. So cool to see our fellow full-timer friends as we enter we've got the off-road evolution evo pit we got to stop by here and chat with these guys see if uh, mel and the team are around because man i could use some evo in my life and some king coilovers on this thing i think but anyways so stoked to be here you guys and i see someone i recognize that right there is adventure athlete uh tim robel i believe his name is been following him on instagram for a while now super down to mob super badass dude so we're gonna go crash this party see if he's at his camp and meet him for the first time it's gonna be the next video what yep we're doing a rig walkthrough with tim and his amazing six by six so i am so stoked to share this with you in the next video so Comment what you thought of this one, smack the like button, do all the stuff, you know, the regular little checkbox things. But really, you saw in this video, I'm down to mob in the truck camper. The question is, are you down to mob? <laughs>